time for another episode of Straight Fire. This is number three on solving for unknown angles. So let's take a look at the worksheet. First of all, did you um, attempt the questions on your own first? It's important to give it a shot first before you watch me guide you through it. All right, so these are the answers to the questions. First one up, um, we're looking for angle B, C, D in the picture. So I located that right away. And usually on these questions, um, you might not be able to find the angle right off the bat. So um, it all begins with some careful reading. Notice that I highlighted the word isosceles triangle, and I marked it in the picture. It's an isosceles triangle, which means that two sides are equal to each other. It also means that two angles are equal to each other. And I know that in a triangle, there's how many degrees? 180. So if I've got 70 so far, that means I need 180 altogether. So that means that there's 110 degrees left inside that triangle. And that would have to be split in half, divided by 2, since this angle and this angle here are both sharing the 110 degrees and they have to be the same size. So that gives me an angle on the inside as being 55. And together, these two angles will have to form 180 degrees because they are linear angles. So to find out the missing angle, it's just taking 180 and subtracting away 55 from it. That would give me 125 degrees for the missing angle. In this next question, there's quite a lot of thinking that has to go into it. You can see that I began the question by carefully reading over the text and marking it in the, pic marking it in the picture. This is an isosceles triangle, so these two sides are the same length, and these two um, angles are the same. And they're telling me that these are the sides that are the same above as well, so they're emphasizing that. Now there's also another word, angle bisectors. The word bisector means that it's cutting things in half. So in this picture, you have to see that AD is splitting this angle in half. BF is splitting this angle in half. And CE is splitting this angle in half. All right. Um, right now, it's impossible to answer the question unless I actually put some information into the picture. It does tell me above there that angle BAC is 50 degrees. So let me find it. BAC is 50 degrees. Hmm. All right, so that's 50 degrees here. I also know that it's 50 degrees here because it's an isosceles triangle. Um, now I'm starting to piece together the information. They want me to find angle AXC. So they want me to find the angle in white there. Now because it's there's angle bisectors in the picture, I know that that angle has to be 25, and that angle has to be 25. Well, that's not very helpful. So those angles are both 25. Now I can ignore the rest of the picture and just focus in on that lower triangle where I already know two of the angles. So in a triangle, there has to be 180 degrees altogether. I've got two 25s already, so that's 50 degrees so far. So subtracting would tell me that that missing angle would have to be 130 degrees. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Um, all right, so in this one, we're looking for angle A. And they also are telling me that there's an isosceles triangle in the picture. They're telling me that AB is the same length as BC. They're telling me that angle CBD is 30 degrees. So I know it's 30 degrees there on the outside. Now if you didn't get a chance to finish this one on your own and now you think you're picking it up, why don't you take a minute and finish solving this question. You can pause the video. And okay, now unpause it when you're ready. And uh, well here we, here we go with the rest of the, rest of the explanation. 
So blowing this picture up a little bit more helps me write into the picture. So this has to be 150 degrees because these two angles make 180 degrees. They are linear. So it's 150 degrees there at that angle. I can twist the picture upside down if it helps you see it better. It's an isosceles triangle with 150 degrees as the vertex angle. So these two angles here would have to be the same size and evenly split. So 180 degrees altogether means there's 30 degrees left over. So 15 degrees here and 15 degrees here for the answer. Okay, flipping it over to the back, uh, there's a question here that I really don't want to guide you through. Um, I want to make sure that you can actually figure this out. Um, you will use some vertical angles to figure out the answer. Um, the last question, I do want to spend a little more time with you on it. It's, um, it's laid out, all the, picture, all the pieces are labeled already for you, and they're looking for um, the value of x. So there are a couple ways to work the question out, but the easiest way to do it is to use the exterior angle theorem. Um, we've got all these pieces in place and we want to come up with a fact that's true about those pieces. And one fact that you can pull back on is the fact that the angle here in yellow is equal to the two angles here inside added together. So that's the way the question begins by writing that 3x plus 20 is equal to that angle x plus that other angle x plus 60. And I won't walk you through the to the very end of this question, but you should begin by um, adding those like terms together this way and then continue to solve for x. And I'll take a peek to see how you did in class. All right. Have a great day.